Okay, doing an oil change on a 2014 Ram 2500 with the 6.7 Cummins diesel. Um, uh, there's a billion videos out there of how to change the oil. But I'm going to show you how I change the filter on these things. I don't know which years they all, they all are like this. But the filter is in there. And anybody who has tried to change these before, you guys know this is a pain in the ass to change without getting uh, oil everywhere. <clears throat> I've had my truck changed a couple times at a, a local shop. I know these guys. And the amount of oil that they, uh, they drip all over the place is, is crazy. Uh, like this, this truck here goes on customers' driveways. I can't have oil dripping. So I'll show you how I do this. And it's amazing. Uh, put a towel underneath. You got to have a Ziploc bag. And these are these are like the oil screw-on lids uh, for this. Uh, I don't. I can't remember the name of them, but this is key too, especially for putting the filter back on, because um, you do want oil in there. So, and you can't tip it over, right? Like you can't you can't just push the filter in and lift it up. You have to actually turn the filter like this and same with getting it out. So I'll show you guys what I do. Okay, so I've, I've already just loosened the filter just enough to start hand turning. Uh, I've got a t-shirt just kind of lightly shoved in underneath everything. I'm going to grab my Ziploc. Get that Ziploc all the way around that filter. Up in the back. Get it all down there. So now I've got the filter covered with the Ziploc. So now I'm going to loosen this up. Make sure my Ziploc is still good. And then we're just going to let it drop right into the Ziploc. We're gonna lift the Ziploc up a little bit. Okay, now, because it's so tight, it'll just sit there. So I'm gonna grab the, I'm gonna grab the plug. Remember, it's, it's already wrapped around the Ziploc. Okay, I got the plug on. So now what I'm gonna do is just grab the Ziploc and the filter all at once. Pull that filter right out. Look. There is nothing, not a drop of oil on that. So now we're just gonna undo this. I'll tilt this up uh, upside down, but there is no oil guys. Up. 
these things take up quite a bit of oil, so you want to make sure you're adding that oil to this before you start in the truck. Every time I'm pouring it in, you can see it just absorbing it and going down. Look at right there. A little bit of oil still there. Grab that just around the seal. Get, uh, get it all. All right. Install the, the cap again. Now you don't want to tighten it too much because it is a bit of a pain in the butt sometimes to get it off when it's in there. So you don't really need it that, that tight. Okay, so now we got to get this in. I gotta go to the GoPro here because it's such a tight spot. I gotta try to use. Okay. So now I'm just gonna try to keep it up with my one hand. Unscrew. Again, that filter's not going anywhere. That the t-shirt definitely helps though, like keeping it from moving. So now you're just gonna hold that straight. there you have it so the hardest part of the oil change for these trucks is getting that filter out so buying one of these is key and then again just a an old t-shirt and a ziploc bag just to you know triple make sure that nothing spills on to the next one